Hi everybody, it's Q&A Wednesday. I'm actually at home today, if you can believe it. You don't see me in a dark car. Um, no headlights flashing in my eyeballs. Um, yeah, so pretty excited to be home where it's warm. Um, caught myself putting on two coats today because it is cold and I do not like it. I did not order this weather. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, I just don't like it. I'm ready to go somewhere warm. So anyhow, um, it is Q&A Wednesday. I actually have a question. I actually have a question from some, from somebody today. So I'm going to address that um, in a little bit. But I want to talk about the holidays because, oh, my word, I, I swear I blinked. And all of a sudden, I'm realizing it is Thanksgiving in like a week. So I'm freaking out. Um, the planner in me is just stressing out to the max because normally by now I have a complete plan of what I'm going to do um, for Thanksgiving. I like to host. So um, for those of you that know me, I like to become Betty Crocker over the holidays. I like to cook or bake. I don't like to cook. I like to bake. So um, I've already made multiple loaves of pumpkin bread. I've had requests for more. Um, and I've been very good about staying out of it. So um, I make really small loaves, so I feel like I'm giving healthy. I'm giving healthy things out. Um, but anyhow, so, uh, you know, this is a time of year where we have a c couple of options as we're trying to stay healthy. Um, number one, we can just kind of go off the deep end and go crazy and gain a bunch of, of um I don't want to say excess weight, but, you know, definitely it, it can be out to ruin our holiday goals or our, our intentions of becoming healthier. So um, I have some great ideas. Uh, sorry, guys. Um, for some odd reason, my my phone's being weird and it just went weak and lost everybody. So hopefully everybody's popping back on. Um, I'll wait for a second before I start sharing my my holiday, getting through the holiday tips, um, you know, during the season where everybody wants to eat, drink, and be merry. So, um, again, I apologize for some strange reason. Um, my wireless just must not be working right. So I actually am on, on data at this point. Um, and hopefully I won't lose you again. I've never lost people in the middle of a, of a Facebook live. So, um, hopefully everybody jumps back on and is able to, um, you know, and, and by the way, everything that you guys post right now pops up. I can see it. So if anybody has any questions while I'm talking, um, you can absolutely ask, um, and we'll do the best I can to answer those. But, um, my goal tonight, like I said, it's, it's holidays are around the corner. Um, I am still freaking out that it's that fast, but you know what? There's some things that you can do to be prepared in order to make it through the holidays unscathed. So that's, that's what I want to talk about, um, tonight. So, you know, hopefully you are, Finding ways to maintain what you're accomplishing. Don't stop. Don't stop moving. Um, one of the things you've got to do is just try and maintain your habits and get into the gym. Um, get your moving. Um, get moving. You know, eat well. Um, but we're gonna talk about how to. We got Thanksgiving next week, and then we got Christmas coming really, really fast. Um, and just for a heads up to all my my clients, um, I'm gonna be out of town December 15th through the 21st. Yeah, sorry about that, but I figure you should probably know in advance. Um, I am actually taking my family to Disneyland and picking up my marine son down in San Diego. So um, just a heads up in advance that I will not be able to train on those dates. But um, but I will be here through the holidays. So anybody who wants to get in a session or two, I'm going to be around. So again, sorry about losing everybody, but um, here we go. So... I think one of the biggest issues over the holidays um, is that, you know, sometimes we get a little bit of excess going on. Um, you know, we can eat and drink too much. And I want to give you a few tips that will help you get through the holidays. Like I said, I've done this for a few years. I've kind of found some things that work for me. You might have to put your own spin on it um, to make it work for you. Um, one, of the, one of the biggest benefits working for yourself is that... Um, well, we own two businesses, so we get to be the ones that throw the holiday parties for our employees. Well, at least my husband's business. Um, so we usually pick something that works for us. Uh, we don't feel pressured into having to do anything um, too crazy. But um, the first thing, I'll, the first tip I have for you over the holidays is, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, pick your battles. Um, you know, figure out what's what's important to you. Like I said, I probably wouldn't try to lose weight or get lean over the holidays. Um, you don't want to feel not necessarily ostracized, but, um, you know, you want to spend some time with friends and family. That's one of the benefits. Um, and one of the great things about the holiday season. So, you know, pick your goals wisely. Don't try to restrict, restrict yourself too far because what ends up happening is you usually kind of go up the deep end, um, and go the opposite direction. And we're not looking for that. We're just looking to, I like to think of it as maintaining over the holidays. And I do have some great ways for you to still be able to participate, uh, and not feel like you're sacrificing, 
Um, but you know, when it comes to, uh, like holiday parties and things, you know, you don't have to go to all of them. I'm just going to tell you, you know, pick, pick and choose. Um, you know, don't feel pressured to do it. Why, why do other people get to determine what we do and, and how we decide, um, to spend our time, you know, choose who you want to spend your time with over the holidays. Um, so choose which parties you're going to go to and be prepared. Know what kind of parties are they dinner? Um, are they going to be at a restaurant? Can you choose? Is there only one or two options, but pick and choose your battles so that you don't have to stress over that and be prepared in advance. And to be honest, <laughs> I'm the weirdo, uh, that brings my own food to my mother's Christmas Eve party. It, that's just how it goes. So, um, I bring my own food last year. I had fish. Yep. On Christmas Eve. Don't tell anybody. I actually had my cheat meal the next day and I had pizza, but that's, you know, that's a whole other ball game. Um, so, you know, be prepared for what you're, the parties that you're going to go to. Be careful not to drink all your calories. Um, you know, determine when you walk in the door, make, make the decisions in advance. If you're going to, um, drink, pick a, pick one party to drink at and pick your limit. It doesn't have to be a free for all. You don't have to go off the deep end. So, um, if you're prepared, if you've made the decision in advance, it's a whole lot easier to walk in and say, no, thank you. than it is to walk in and say, well, maybe. And then by the end of the night, um, you've lost it. Right. Um, so keep that in mind that, you know, it's all about balance. So I'm definitely watch the liquid calories. Um, you know, that's, that's, that can add up really, really quick. So, um, my friend Mo here is telling me her idea is that if you're going to go to all those parties, you don't have to eat at all of them, which is absolutely true. You can make that decision. Um, you know, to be honest, if I have to work off excess calories or something that's, that sounds really good, it better be good. <laughs> and honestly, I don't want to have to work off alcohol calories. Um, I'd rather work off chocolate. So that's kind of my choice anyway. Um, I'm always prepared for what I, what I do. I want to tell you how I get through Thanksgiving. Um, this is, you know, a couple years worth of experience. Um, first of all, I eat Thanksgiving and I eat whatever it is that I want on Thanksgiving. Um, I'm prepared for it. I get up first thing in the morning. I usually host. I like, I don't like to travel. I don't like to travel during the holidays. Um, but I usually get up first thing in the morning. I get my cardio done. I make sure that I do cardio because I know I'm going to eat more than I normally do. Um, I get the turkey in the oven and then guess what? I go to the gym. I get my lift in. Um, I want to use those excess calories. I know I'm going to eat for something beneficial. Don't skip a bunch of meals. Don't wait all day and then eat a great big, huge meal because then what you've done is allowed your metabolism to drop. And then you're eating a bunch of crap on top of it. So your body is going to freak out and store a lot of that. And we don't want to do that. So, you know, eat your regular meals throughout the day. So by the time you get to um, your holiday meal that, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to overeat. Um, and here's the deal. I eat one meal, one meal. I eat Thanksgiving or Christmas. I don't eat for four days. Um, I don't eat all the leftovers. And you know what? I eat full strength. Like I eat all the good stuff. If I eat pie, it is not reduced calorie pie. I actually eat pie. Um, but I only eat one meal because that way I still get to spend my time with friends and family. I don't feel like I'm sacrificing. I actually get to have some of the things that I love stuffing. Hmm, just gonna tell you love stuffing. Um, so usually I'm the only one that eats it, but I eat carbs, deal with it. Um, so keep that in mind that it doesn't have to be a free for all. It doesn't have to be endless parties and endless food. You can pick and choose what you're going to accomplish and what you, what you're going to avoid. Um, and, and I've just talked about doing a little bit of extra activity. I know because I'm going to eat more than normal. I try to work off some of those calories by getting a little bit done in advance, um, and making sure that I don't skip the gym over the next couple of days, whether your gym is closed or not. See, I have my own cardio equipment and that tends to work for me as well. Um, so, and we talked a little bit about, um, don't eat it if it's not worth it. You know, sometimes, you know, uh, somebody that you love might have baked something and, and really kind of pressure you into eating something that, you know, isn't going to <laughs> taste super great. Um, there's no reason why you have to eat it. So, um, keep that in mind. I just don't want you to feel deprived. Um, over the holidays, like I said, it's great to spend time with our friends and family, um, you don't want to get to the end of the holidays and feel like you were left out. So there is a way to do that in a balanced way. Um, something else that's super important over the holidays, I know it's really tough to do is avoid stress. Um, I no longer shop black Friday, not my gig. Um, not a fan of rude people, not a fan of, um, I, I don't like to be around a ton of people that are in a hurry to get somewhere. Um, I get real claustrophobic real quick. So I, I try to avoid as much stress as possible. Um, just because it's not going to help. Um, you don't want to raise your cortisol levels. You don't want to, um, 
it's just not good for your body overall. Um, and don't forget to stay hydrated. I know this time of year, sometimes we think it's cold out. I don't, I like my water cold, um, but I still make sure that I, I, I hydrate myself really, really well to help my system to flush um, and, and keep my body working the best that it possibly can. So um, if you think of any other tips that work for you, um, you know, it's kind of common sense. Just think about what you want to accomplish over the holidays. Um, find a balanced way to get through it. Be willing to say no, no thank you. Um, you know, just prepare in advance and it makes it, makes it a lot easier to get through the holidays. Um, and, and guys, don't wait for January, seriously. Don't wait for January. What's gonna change in January that you can't start now? Um, to be honest, I get really frustrated that everybody waits till January to start joining gyms and you know, put these big goals into place. 80% of the people who set health goals um, for the New Year's resolutions actually quit within the first few weeks. Um, and by then they've all kind of ticked me off by taking off, taking out all my equipment um, while I'm trying to train people. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. I don't like New Year's resolution for that uh, reason um, because you know, I want what I, I want you to be healthy for a lifetime. I don't want it to be, um, you know, just a temporary goal. It's okay to have a short-term goal, uh, but I don't think that it should just be a short-term goal. I think you should try to, whatever you're incorporating, it needs to be sustainable. So that's what our goal is for that. That's why I say live healthy ever after. Um, so any other um, tips that people have, I definitely love to hear it um, because sometimes it's nice to have a different perspective. Um, but I do really quickly, um, I want to, I did have a Q&A for this week. I had somebody ask me about keto diets, um, which I find fascinating. Um, I'm on a slight type of a keto diet. Um, I'm actually on a growth season, so I'm not really, first of all, I don't like the word diets. Everybody knows that. Um, but I'm actually eating a surplus of calories at this point because I'm trying to put on a little bit of muscle in my off season. Um, so it's a, it's a little bit different, but I want to talk to you, um, you know, there's a lot of diets out there and I've done some research on this just because, um, I find it fascinating. Um, you know, and for my average client that is really struggling with, um, trying to figure out how to eat healthier or try to find that balance when it comes to nutrition, I'm not a fan of any diet that actually cuts out a macronutrient. Um, I find they're all beneficial to a certain extent. I really try to teach my people to just eat clean and cut out processed food and excess, well, refined sugar in general and high fructose corn syrup. Um, so I try to teach that overall, but I did um, do some research on keto diets. Um, they can be beneficial to certain extents. Um, it, there are some medical issues that they're beneficial for. Um, most people aren't going to deal with with any of those issues but the biggest reason why i don't necessarily recommend a keto diet is just and a keto diet for those that aren't sure about that just means it's a it's a very low to no carb diet um, your goal is to teach your body to burn fat as fuel um, stored fat as fuel and so by eating a higher fat diet uh, you're teaching your body to um, turn that into energy the downside to that is that it's very extreme it's hard to do. Um, even carb cycling, which like I said, is something that I do, um, is a little more intense. Um, I don't necessarily recommend it to the average person. Um, there are times that I struggle with it for, for multiple reasons. Um, partially because I run like a crazy person on a, on a daily basis. I burn, even my little body, um, I burn about 2,500 calories uh, a day just on average. Um, and that's without cardio. Um, you're talking like 16,000 steps a day. So there are some days where I really struggle with a little bit of energy. Um, but the downside to that, first of all, there hasn't been a ton of really long-term research done on that. Um, but the research that has been done, um, the downside is when you do choose to switch off, a lot of times your body really struggles with some things. Your hormones can get a little bit messed up. It is a little bit harder on your kidneys. Um, so, you know, it, I just really find that it's it's pretty intense um, and it's not sustainable. And again, that's my goal for everybody is you want to be healthy for the rest of your life. You want something that's sustainable. I understand jump starting to try and get something accomplished, um, but why not teach your body in a way that's healthy um, to utilize fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, um, the cleaner foods. I always tell people if you can't kill it or grow it, you probably shouldn't be putting it in your face. Um, so... Tracking your food is essential. If you think tracking is really difficult, the keto diet really depends on tracking to the nth degree. So, you know, it, it's a pretty extreme diet. I, I don't, like I said, you, everybody's a little bit different um, in how their bodies work and how their hormones roll. So 
it's really tough to say that that is something that would work for you. Um, but I find my two, some of my least favorite diets would, would be um, a pure ketogenic diet um, and intermittent fasting. Just not a fan. Um, so anyway, that's my, you know, that's my opinion. Again, that's, I've done some research. Um, I've seen some experiences with it. Um, and it's just not... It's just not something that I recommend to the average person. Um, but anyhow, so that is Q&A Wednesday. If anybody has any other questions, um, I love doing this, by the way. And so next week, I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about next week. It will be the night before Thanksgiving. I will still be here. Um, I can do it from home. I can do it from wherever. So I love that part of it. Um, but, you know, if you have any questions, I'd love to address it. Um, if not, I will just probably pick the most common questions that a lot of my clients give me um, and, and come up with that. So I'm hoping that every Everybody has an incredible week. Um, it's Wednesday. Wednesday. Like I said, it is one week till Thanksgiving. So I got a lot of work to do. Um, trying to keep up with everything and stay warm. So have an incredible evening and we'll talk to you soon.